Hey everyone, this is Ditto from Reef to Reef. In this video, we're going to show how easy it is to configure line monitoring, or what I like to call power outage detection, for your Proflux controller with the GHL control app. GHL has the ability to sense power outages, and in the event of a power outage, turn off non-essential equipment, lower illumination channels, and reduce power to the 1 through 10 volt ports. This allows you to extend the time of your UPS allowing you to power your equipment for longer periods of time during a power outage. For this to work, you need to purchase a line monitoring power adapter from GHL. I placed the link in the video description below. This adapter plugs into the back of the GHL Proflux controller in the line monitor port. It is important that this adapter plugs into a non-UPS plug as it will be used to detect power outages. Your P4 controller power adapter is plugged into a UPS, Universal Power Supply, which will only turn on in the event of a power failure. It is important to note that anything that's not plugged into the UPS during a power outage will not have any power. So let's get started. On your Android or Apple device, find the GHL Connect icon and open up the application. With the GHL Connect application opened, you'll be presented with the devices configured for GHL Connect. Choose your Proflux controller. We need to program the switch outlets, the 1 through 10 volt ports, and the illumination channels impacted by a loss of power. Click on the hamburger icon in the upper left hand corner. Choose the extra menus option. A new set of menu options will appear, and now we need to select the maintenance slash power cut menu options. From here, you'll be presented with the maintenance slash power cut one through four menu options. I'm going to be using maintenance one for tank maintenance, which I'll be showing on a future YouTube video on how to set up. For power cut, I'm going to choose maintenance power cut four. Clicking within this option, you can select the socket you want impacted by the power cut, the one through 10 volt interfaces affected by power outages, and the Mitris light bars that will be impacted by the power outage. This is where you will also enable power cut monitoring features. While scrolling down, you can also program the delay to return from power cut mode to normal operational mode. For example, you have a power cut programmed and you have a power outage and it activates and power is now restored. You could delay the power cut say by five minutes, which means it will remain on power cut mode for an additional five minutes. I use this feature in the event of any brownouts that may happen on the initial return of power. We now need to configure the sockets we want impacted by power cut. Click on sockets. You will now be presented with the switch port or sockets of your tank. By default, they will all be off. Choose the power switch sockets that you wish to remain on during power cut and change the state of them to on. Once you've selected all your sockets, click apply and you'll be brought back to the maintenance power cut for menu. Choose your one through 10 volt interfaces. Choosing the one through 10 volt interfaces on your Proflux controller that you wish to remain on after a power outage and choose the percentage of power you wish to assign to them. For example, if you choose 50%, it will only apply 50% of the power that the one through 10 volt port is currently configured at. Once you have configured all your 1 through 10 volt ports, click apply. You will be brought back to the maintenance power cut for menu. If you have Mitris light bars installed onto your controller, choose the Mitris light bars. Choose all the channels of your light bars and then choose the percentage of brightness that you would like applied to the existing brightness programming in the event of a power outage. Clicking apply, you'll be brought back to the maintenance power cut menu. Let's type in a description for this power cut. I'm going to label mine power outage. Click save. Need now to enable the power cut monitoring. Scroll down and click on enabled cut now at the system menu option. You will now be taken to the system menu of your controller. Scroll down to the power cut monitoring. By default, it is disabled. Choose line input and then click save. You will notice that the actual power cut state will now state OK. 
as I have a line monitor adapter plugged into the ProFlex controller and I currently have power supplied to it. If I unplug the adapter to simulate a power outage, you will see the actual power state change to power cut. And that's it. We've successfully configured power outage monitoring and control of your ProFlex controller. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, or as always, you can find me on Reef to Reef. This is Ditto, signing off.